While much of America tries to figure out this Louis DeJoy scandal, the real issue is, why is there no rent eviction moratorium? Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is LL8. Afternoons LL8 is our two-hour programming block that starts every day at 3.30, starts with a check, then goes to hazard pay, then FPUC, and finally rent assistance. Really shocking news overnight about this. It's a bill that is really the core and focus of much of the entire country this year, this week. As millions of Americans are facing eviction, there's no eviction moratorium in place. And people are wondering why can't Congress simply agree upon a very short, concise eviction moratorium bill? It would look something like we so decree based upon a pandemic that's existing. Um, millions of Americans are struggling. No one can be evicted from their home or suffer foreclosure of their home or property until January 2021. So decree. Very simple. I mean, it doesn't require a lot of ink. Um, it doesn't require more than one scarf of your Gervita Carranza. It's very simple. So why hasn't it been done? Now, the president thought, if you believe him, that he had done it when he introduced an executive order a week ago. He said the lawyers were drafting it and lawyers were writing it up. Uh, probably should fire those lawyers because once it was introduced, everyone looked at it like, it looked like a bad cell phone bill. You're like, who called the, uh, the hot ladies dancer 888 number at 10 o'clock last night? It's like, what is this? Uh, you look at it and you're like, what is this? Well, it was not an eviction moratorium. It was not a mortgage forbearance. It was a very nice, you know, uh, cocktail piece, cocktail hour piece. It basically said, if you have a problem with rent, call up, um, call up Larry, call up Steve Mnuchin, call up, uh, the head of HUD. What? That's not an eviction moratorium. So I can understand maybe it was a rushed weekend and everyone was working and you messed it up and the lawyers, you know, just wrote it wrong, or maybe the paralegal wrote it. Okay, well, Monday came along, no one fixed it. Tuesday came along, no one fixed it. Wednesday came along, no one fixed it. It's been a week and a half, and are we supposed to still sit here and wonder why no one has fixed that thing? Are we supposed to sit here back and wonder why has the President of the United States still not fixed his so-called eviction moratorium? What's important to understand here here is whether you're Republican or Democrat, the president has complete constitutional authority under the Constitution to issue an eviction moratorium in his inherent authority under the executive powers orders. So he can issue an executive order at any time creating an eviction moratorium and mortgage forbearance to protect Americans. He tried to. It's not that. No Republican thinks it is. So why hasn't he gone back and fixed it? Well, then there's the Democrats. <laughs> you only beat up on one side. No, 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 no. This I beat up on both sides. And here I'm about to beat up on the other side. Carolyn, remember Teresa uh, Guida is a New Jersey housewives at first season. She always said, Caroline, Caroline. Well, Carolyn, uh, represent member of uh, New York, did this overnight. She had her printer ready. She wrote it up. Carolyn Maloney of New York, wrote up a bill. It's, uh, you know, it's two pages long. It's really about four sentences long. And it's called the Delivering for America Act. Oh, what is Carolyn delivering for America? Well, Carolyn is delivering for America all members of Congress are turned back into session from a vacation, from a recess, and to come back and vote on this bill. What is this bill? It's the Louis DeJoy bill. 
Democrats think that there's a scandal at issue regarding Louis DeJoy in the post office. So they had Carolyn Maloney uh, of New York write up a bill to solve the problem. And while that was not enough, Nancy Pelosi said, you know what? I'm ordering all members of Congress back in a session to vote on Caroline Maloney's bill to solve the problem about Louis Malo Maloney. Uh, <laughs> Louis DeJoy, sorry, sorry, Caroline, uh, to vote on, uh, on, the, on this bill. That's really nice, Nancy. Why didn't you do this for rent eviction? It's two pages. Let's do a Price is Right moment. Showcase showdown, two pages. How much is the value of this paper? 11 cents, you can't write a two-page bill for rent eviction moratorium and get it done? The president can do it by executive orders literally this afternoon, can write an eviction moratorium and save Americans from being thrown on the street. The Democrats can also write an eviction moratorium and get it done within one page, like Carolyn Maloney almost did with her bill, get a bill done, and the Republicans say that they'll sign it. But Nancy has not. Nancy refuses to do so. Rather, Nancy talks about how this is part of the HEROES Act, which is 150-something pages long. And because the rest of the world cannot agree upon 150-something pages, you're supposed to be thrown on the street. It's a very in interesting, it's a very easy concept to understand. That everyone wants to give you an eviction moratorium. That eviction moratorium can be written by everyone. That eviction moratorium is literally a page long to write it. It's, it's all three sentences. But no one wants to give it as a law because they want to pile it in to a mega bill that's 150 to 200 pages long that is tied up in intense battlegrounds. This is why people don't like politicians. Because ultimately, this is called buffoonery. It's called baloney. Carolyn Maloney. Carolyn, why didn't you do this for eviction moratorium? Why, why, you're from New York. Is eviction moratorium not a pressing issue for people in New York? Carolyn Maloney, this is baloney. Write it up for eviction moratorium. Write it up for FPUC. Write it up for stimulus check. Nancy, order everyone back in session. Get it done. If Carolyn can write something for Louis DeJoy over a scandal that no one really still understands, it's very complicated. I can't even explain it on camera. It's so complicated. Why can't we do this for red eviction? Out of paper? Out of ink? Uh, fingers stuck? Can't, you know, can't type? You know, what's, what's the excuse? What's the excuse? It, it, there's no excuse. There's just no excuse. This can be done. And so as we sit here today, it is inherently, hideously inept by both the Democrats and the Republicans to give you an eviction moratorium and mortgage forbearance when viewers of this channel are literally on the street. Some viewers are actually watching this channel from their car. Some viewers are actually watching this channel from the street. Some viewers are actually watching this channel after receiving an eviction moratorium and send it to me in DM so I can look at it and I'm just like, excuse me, eviction, uh, eviction order, uh, not eviction moratorium, eviction order. And it's just like, government has failed America. And when it comes to stimulus checks and FPUC and, and eviction moratoriums, which are so simple, can be done in a few sentences, this is where politicians have really failed America. So as we sit here on a Monday morning and I'm basically, you know, uh, giving the terror of the situation, why has this not been solved? I can repeat the data. It, it just, you know, every time I repeat the data, I wonder myself, is Congress looking at this data? 40% of, uh, excuse me. 60% of Americans who make $40,000 or less per year are facing eviction. Two-thirds, I think they said, of blacks and Hispanics who rent are facing eviction. In two states, which whose states, whose states I forgot, I think one was Tennessee and one was somewhere in New England, two-thirds of all renters are facing eviction. 
The number of eviction cases a month ago when I was reporting this was 40 million cases, which at that time was the worst ever since seen since the Great Depression, a, a number at that time which spanned over several years. This number is based upon a few weeks. That was then. Eviction moratoriums are only in place in less than, you know, a half of the states of this country. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? I got it. You know, I got it. You 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 want to have some discussion about Louis DeJoy. I got it. But Congress is back in session. Get the stuff done. So where is everyone? What's going on? What are they doing and how are they doing it? Ultimately, there's going to be someone who jumps in the comments and says, they're coming back to town just to talk about Louis DeJoy. They're not coming back to talk about your stuff. Uh, untrue. Nancy Pelosi has called back members of Congress all back into town for return of session of the House. That, um, for purposes of clarity, <laughs> if I don't have this, Captain Obvious is walking behind me on the set. The House is both Republicans and Democrats. So they're all ordered both into town. Uh, when are they coming back? Sunday or Monday. They have a thing called the Democrat Convention, which is slightly important this week, and there's another one called the Republican Convention. So they're doing these things sort of pushing them right in when they can get them done and th when returning back to session they're only they're not returning just for session for Louis DeJoy his congressional inquiry is next coming Monday it was really supposed to be on Sunday and Mark Meadows as he sits on a Sunday morning yesterday is literally really willing to give the kitchen sink to Nancy Pelosi there's something about this Louis DeJoy situation that's that is really teed up Mark Meadows to just offer a lot from a person who just you know a week ago didn't even want to stay in the negotiation room so what's coming up next unclear rent eviction moratorium is ultimately as I say every day is that video I want to just absolutely scream I'm so angry because it's something so important to the viewers of this channel staying in their home not being thrown on the street or already are on the street want to go back into a home and here's members of Congress you know on vacation again and rushing back from vacation not to deal with your apartment situation but to deal with a rich guy in a rich building with a cushy job and what he's doing with mailboxes, which really is not an issue you have to do this minute. You can do it next week. Do the eviction moratorium first. Coming up next is Evenings LA Light. Go to the front of the channel and hit that subscribe and alert button. We're at almost 200,000 subscribers. What a great community this has been. We're here to help one another, and together we'll get through this as well. Um, if you're not getting alerts, go into the sticky comments. I, there's a, an instructional there as to how to ensure you're getting alerts when a new video goes live. Thank you for watching Mornings LA Light, which was one of our most watched Mornings LA Light ever. Coming up next is Evenings LA Light at 645. Starts with a check and then goes to EIDL. As always, stay informed, stay focused, stay motivated, stay smiling and save my life for more.